Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! English 4, Quarter 1, Week 2, Milk Base Let's learn about Dictionary, Thesaurus, and Online Sources At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Use resources such as dictionaries, thesaurus, or online sources to find the meaning of words and state the meaning of each given word taken from such sources. Hello kids! Today, we are going to study about dictionary, thesaurus, and online sources. Let us start our lesson with the following activities. Learning Task 1 State the meaning or give another term for each underlined item below. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1 Last night, I saw a great movie. The underlined word is great. What is another term for this word? Very good! Excellent! Remember kids, answers may vary. Number 2. The wind is blowing outside. The underlined word is blowing. What is another term for this word? Very good! Blustering! Number 3. I think those two girls are friends. The underlined word is friends. What is another term for this word? Very good! Partners! Number 4. Jane is afraid of making a big mistake. The underlined word is big. What is another term for this word? Very good! Huge! Number 5. The drive to get to the lake was really long. The underlined word is long. What is another term for this word? Very good! Far! Number 6. I am working on getting good grades. The underlined word is working. What is another term for this word? Very good! Busy! Number 7. May feels like wearing something different. The underlined word is different. What is another term for this word? Very good! Unusual! Number 8. Our breakfast today was terrific. The underlined word is terrific. What is another term for this word? Very good! Awesome! Number 9. I wash my hands because it felt dirty. The underlined word is dirty. What is another term for this word? Very good! Unclean! Number 10. The new English teacher is very kind. The underlined word is kind. What is another term for this word? Very good! Affectionate When you read and come across the difficult word or an unknown word, we usually ask someone to explain to us its meaning. In another cases, we tend to consult various sources for us to determine its meaning. Basically, there are three sources that we may use in finding the meaning of an unknown and unfamiliar word. The three sources that we can use in finding the meaning of an unknown and unfamiliar word are Dictionary Thesaurus and Online Sources This book is a dictionary. A dictionary is a reference book that provides an alphabetical listing of words and their meanings. 
A dictionary can have many different features that can give you a great deal of information about a word beyond just the meaning. They are useful to find the proper spelling of a word and some will show you how the word is phonetically pronounced. In many cases, they provide you with a list of possible synonyms and antonyms which can be helpful reference when you are writing. Another sources that we can use is a thesaurus. This book is a thesaurus. A thesaurus is a tool that is found mostly on paperbacks that list synonyms of words you are using in your own work. Often, it will also list a variety of antonyms. They can be helpful references tools when you are writing or creating sentences. They can be found arranged in a dictionary style or concept-driven arrangements. The dictionary style is the most common form you can find. Another sources is the online sources. Online sources are helpful tools and platforms in finding meaning of an unknown or unfamiliar word. By just typing the word in the search tab of a website or search engine, definitions, synonyms, antonyms, and sometimes word usage may appear. With the wide accessibility of internet everywhere, searching has become more convenient nowadays. Let's proceed to learning task 2. Using a dictionary, choose the letter of the correct guide words for each word. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1. Pool. What is the correct guide word? A. Play to police. B. Poem to pot. C. Prosper to pool. Or D. Porpoise to pond. What is the correct answer? Correct! The correct guide word is letter B, poem to pot. Number 2, save. What is the correct guide word? A, saint to salve. B, salt to saute. C, same to say. Or D, saw to see. What is the correct guide word? Very good! The correct guide word is letter C. Same to say. Number 3. Jump. What is the correct guide word? A. June to just. B. Join to juice. C. Judge to jug. Or D. Joke to Juniper. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D, joke to juniper. Number 4, wash. What is the correct guide word? A, ways to whip. B, watch to wax. C, wad to wait. Or D, wash to water. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D, wash to water. Number 5, dawn. What is the correct guide word? A, dash to day. B, dart to date. C, days to dent. Or D, damper to David. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A, dash today. Number 6, monkey. What is the correct guide word? A, money to monk. B, mole to mount. C, moon to most. Or D, more to move. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Mole to mount. Number 7. Compress. What is the correct guide word? A. Counter to crust. B. Copper to commer. C. Compare to comprise. Or D. Compute to courage. What is the correct answer? 
Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Compare to comprise. Number 8. Bagpipe. What is the correct guide word? A. Bag to bear. C. Bait to banter. C. Bad to baffle. Or D. Bang to bay. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Bag to bear. Number 9. Car. What is the correct guide word? A. Careful to cast. B. Carry to cart. C. Can text to cap. Or D. Candle to carp. What is the correct guide word? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. Candle to carp. And number 10. International. What is the correct guide word? A. Intense to interactive. B. Internal to internist. C. Interpret to interrogate. Or D. Intercept to intermittent. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Internal to internist. Next activity, learning task 3. Copy the following in your notebook. Use your dictionary to answer the following questions. Your answers may vary for this activity. Number 1. On what page do the words that begin with letter S start? Based on my dictionary, the words that begin with letter S starts on page 753. Number 2. On what page is the word conversion written? Blank conversion means blank. Based on my dictionary, the word conversion written on page 174. And conversion means to change. Number 3. What part of his speech does O belong? Correct! The answer is interjection. Number 4. How many definitions does the word panel have? Correct! The answer is 6. Number 5. What word comes before vacation in your dictionary? Correct! The answer is vacate. On what page is the word apothecary found in your dictionary? Correct! Based on my dictionary, the word apothecary found on page 34. Number 7. How many syllables are there in the word summary? Correct! The answer is 3 syllables. Sa, ma, ri. Number 8. What is the pronunciation of the word raucous? Correct. The answer is raucous. Number 9. What are the guide words on page 25 of your dictionary? Correct. On my dictionary, the words on page 25 is Amputate to Asian. Number 10. What is the first dictionary definition that you can find for virus? Correct! The answer is a very simple organism capable of causing disease. Learning Task 4. Copy the puzzle below in your notebook. Search and encircle the hidden words. First, Let's find the word really. Next, let's find the word unless. Next, let's find the word condition. Next is owns. Next is. Next is culture. Next is scold. And the last word is public. For the next activity, learning task 5, use a thesaurus to find a suitable replacement for each underlined word. Write your answer in your notebook. 
Number 1. The climbing rose bush was bound to the trellis. The underlined word is bound. What is the synonym of bound? Correct! It means tied. Number 2. There is no benefit on cheating on a test. The underlined word is benefit. What is another word for benefit? Correct! It is advantage. Number 3. I would like a wee bit of chocolate cake. What is another word for we? Correct, it is tiny. Number four, mother asks us to stop all the racket. What is the suitable word for racket? Correct, it is clamor. Number five, the little brother is very obstinate. What is the suitable replacement for obstinate? Correct, it is stubborn. Number 6. The climbers reach the mountain summit before nightfall. What is suitable replacement for summit? Correct, it is top. Number 7. She is an exceptional flute player. What is suitable replacement for the word exceptional? Correct, it is excellent. Number 8. The postcard is a keepsake from our trip. What is suitable replacement for a word keepsake? Correct, it is souvenir. Number 9. I will address your query in class tomorrow. What is suitable replacement for the word query? Correct, it is question. And number 10, are you certain that you lock the door? What is suitable replacement for the word certain? Correct, it is sure. Learning task 6. Read the story. Create a more interesting story by using a thesaurus in finding the synonym for each word in the parenthesis. Be sure to choose a semantically correct word in making sense of the story. Write your answers in your notebook. The title of the story is Tita Lori and the Bad Blank Itch. Let's answer! The synonym of bad is awful. It was a very blank, hot afternoon at the veggie farm. According to Thesaurus, the synonym of very is scorching. Tita Lori had been working blank in the plantation since daybreak. According to Thesaurus, the synonym of working is thriving. She looked up at the hot sun and wished she could go swimming in the cool river nearby. According to Thesaurus, hot means fiery. Cool means cold. All at once, Tita Lori had a good idea. According to Thesaurus, it means plan. She decided that a swim was just what she needed. So she ran down to the river and jumped in. The word ran according to Thesaurus is go. And jump according to Thesaurus is hop. A smile spread across her face as she floated on the water. The nice didn't take long however. So the synonym of the word nice is enjoyable according to Thesaurus. All of a sudden, Tita Lori out a cry that could be heard in the next barangay. So the synonym of cry according to Thesaurus is scream. She jumped out of the water as she thought she'd been shot by a gun. She wiggled and squirmed trying to find the source of the discomfort. So the synonym of find according to Thesaurus is discover. Finally, after one big shake, 
a fat tilapia came fluffing out of her shirt. So the synonym of big, according to Thesaurus, is immense. And fat is large. Seeing the small fat fish made Tita Lori laugh so hard that she had the hiccups for two days. So the synonym of laugh, according to Thesaurus, is giggle. Let's proceed to learning task 7. Find the answer to the questions below by searching the net using the links below. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1. What are the 8 parts of speech and their definitions? According to the link below, the 8 parts of speech are Noun Pronoun Verb Adjective Adverb Preposition Conjunction and Interjection Number 2 What was the first book ever written? Correct! According to the link below, the first book ever written is The Dresden Codex written in the 13th century AD Number 3 What are the 10 oldest schools in the world? According to the link below, the 10 oldest schools in the world are First, Gymnasium Carolinum Number 2, Gymnasium Paulinum Number 3, Sherborne School Number 4, Beverly Grammar School Number 5, Royal Grammar School, Worcester Number 6, Thetford Grammar School Number 7, St. Peter's School Number 8, King's Rochester Number 9, The King's School, Canterbury And number 10, Shishi High School Number 4, What are the 10 most popular games in the Philippines? Correct! According to the link below, the 10 most popular games in the Philippines are Number 1, Dota 2 Number 2, League of Legends Number 3, Mobile Legends Bang Bang Number 4, Players Unknowns Battle Number 5, Counter-Strike Global Offensive Number 6, Call of Duty Mobile Number 7, Apex Legends Number 8, Call of Duty Warzone Number 9, Fortnite And number 10, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Remember, basically, there are three sources that we may use in finding the meaning of an unknown and unfamiliar word. These are Dictionary, Thesaurus, and Online Sources. Kids, I hope you like this video. Until our next lesson, bye-bye! Thanks for watching!